Yo, what's up guys, it's Turn here, and today we're back with a brand new video. Um, I am recording this early because I'm going to be out of town, um, for the weekend, so I wanted to get my video sorted out for this Thursday, or this Saturday, that this video should be uploaded. Um, so, obviously this is huge news, um, this is crazy, the fact that this is even being discussed. Uh, optic merging with Envy. Uh, this has been a huge topic. Kind of shied away from making a video on it, uh, just because I don't want to put something out there and then it not get confirmed. But I mean, this is to the point where kind of do have to talk about it. Uh, this team is nuts on paper, especially uh, if you think about the years that Shotzi and Scump had last year. It's pretty crazy. Um, also, you think about going back to an MW engine. Um, I think Scump was pretty solid in MW, and Shotzi, obviously, we know he's probably the best player in that game. Uh, I mean, you could argue Simp, but Shotzi won champs, so, I mean, <laughs> I don't think there's really much more to discuss there. Um, and then you pair the likes of Ilian Dashi. Uh, most people are assuming that Dashi would run main on this team, uh, which I would think would be correct. Uh, I think this suits him well. I think the last time we kind of saw him in a main AR role was probably World War II. Um, and obviously he wasn't with a very good team, but he w he was really good uh, in that game. And this is a World War II reskin, or uh, MW reskin, but World War II based. So, I mean, he was pretty good with STG. Um, I don't think anyone can argue that. Uh, I also think that Illy in that game was probably one of the more dominant S&D players. Uh, we saw the likes of... Illy, Simp, Celium, and uh, turn up too easy getting picked up to that United roster to be their S&D kind of scrim team for their pro team. Uh, and they were very good in that game. Uh, so, I think that this roster is really good. I think the S&D on this team is absurd. Uh, I don't think they'll have a problem to respawn. The only thing I would say is I'm kind of worried to see how Dashy works in this game. Obviously, we all know he shoots really straight, but... Uh, he's going to have to be a lot more vocal than I think we've kind of seen in the past. Which is stepping out of his comfort zone entirely. Uh, he's not very vocal uh, from what people have said. Um, obviously, he's always going to be good. The talent's there. Uh, that's no question. Uh, you could look at Scum for leadership from this team, maybe. But having an SMG kind of be your main source of comms is not really the most ideal. Um, I think we kind of seen it in teams teams past of Optic to kind of have that uh, with like Crib and Karma kind of running the SMGs uh, when Formal was absolutely frying but I think that was also in Jetpack games. I think it's a lot different now. Um, and I think that Dash is going to have to step up in a really big way for this roster. I think Illy on the flex I think that is probably the best option for him. Um, obviously he gets a lot of flack because of his season he had last year. It wasn't amazing by any means. Um so we're kind of looking for him to have a bounce back year uh, and just be consistent the whole way through. I think this game will give him the opportunity to. Uh, and I don't think you have to worry about the subs at all. So I think it really just falls onto Illy and Dash and how comfortable they are in the roles that they're playing. Uh, and you're going to need to rely on them to be a little more vocal than they have in times past, which uh, can be a hard adjustment for some players. Um, but yeah, so I think team overall pretty good uh as far as branding goes i would assume the dallas optic would probably be the name they would go with but i mean you never know things happen um but i think the biggest takeaway kind of from this whole situation is that hastro and hex are going to be able to work together uh which i think is really huge for them um and it's Hex brings content, Hasher brings championships, and that's kind of how it's always been, except for when Hex did have the Dynasty roster. But yeah, so I think that uh, as far as content goes, uh, I think Envy would probably... See, that's the hard part. I don't know if Optic would be getting absorbed or Envy. One would probably assume Optic would be the ones uh, sort of the face of it, just because of the fan base they've built over the previous years and I mean it's optic so I I don't see a world where optic kind of 
goes into the shadows and envy is the face of this especially with scump and everything um but i think that optic empire or dallas empire or dallas optic i think that's probably their best bet in terms of branding um and yeah but like the interesting thing that happened with this is that the players that were dropped too <laughs> um so obviously you see envoy crim vivid Vivid, by the way, who is not rooming to any team, I think that's absolutely fucking stupid. Um, I think that's probably one of the first guys I pick up from some of these teams and kind of building my franchise around him. Uh, I mean, he's very good. Um, I, to see players like that walk is kind of surprising. Um, and obviously, uh, as we will kind of see uh, how everything goes, the Envoy ended up going to 100 Thieves, which I think made their team infinitely better. And uh, Optic has some competition in terms of content because uh, 100 Thieves is pretty good at it too. And uh, they do have a pretty good roster now. So it's just crazy to see how things have changed. Um, I know a lot of people kind of watched all these players kind of grow up uh, in terms of formal scump. Uh, but it... <laughs> It's almost like we should have expected something like this when we saw... I I think a lot of people did know that something was going on when both these teams dropped two players. But I don't think anyone really pieced it together like that. Um, but the thought of Dashy and Envoy and... Or Dashy and Scump and Shotzi and Illy. Being on the same team, that is a roster full of talent. Um, obviously, the team works... On paper, it's probably not all there, but uh, they can kind of put their heads down and grind this year. Um, I think they'll be able to, you know, I wouldn't say be a dominant team because you do have teams like FaZe. Uh, Toronto's still pretty good. LA Thieves looks wonderful with the new roster they picked up uh, of Kenny, Draza, Envoy, and Octane, and obviously LAG's pretty good too. Um, and then you got the rumored NYSL. Uh, so, it'll be interesting to see kind of how this roster goes, um, but yeah. So, before we end the video, I also want to preface this by saying I am recording this early, uh, so if this roster does get announced, uh, it's kind of going to like make my video look a little stupid, um, but I just want to let you guys know that before the video ended because um, it's, it'd probably be nice to know <laughs> if they do announce, which... Is a very likely possibility by Saturday. But, yeah. So, anyway, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment below what you think about this roster. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.